2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hosting the series tonight in Houston, it will be the Rockets going up against the Miami Heat. For the Heat, an ugly showing for them to start the series as they were beaten handily. Still, it's just one game, and they look to return to form here in Game 2. As expected, Shaq, they dropped Game 1. What do they have to do tonight? Well, just play your brand of basketball. If you got to make adjustments, do that. But try to stick with that what never got you to this point. Sounds so simple. Yeah, no, I think, I think totally opposite. You have to play with urgency and desperation. You have to think that there's nothing and no tomorrow. It's still early in the series, but you have to play every game like it's your life. That does it for us. Kevin Harlan with the call, and we'll see you sometime. The famous We Love Houston sign just off Interstate 10. We're coming to you from the Toyota Center in the biggest city in the Lone Star State. The NBA playoffs continue. Just two teams remain. They are battling their way toward this title. Game two of the finals. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. So here's Miami's starting group. They've got Myers Leonard. Dragic is out there with Hero. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Adebayo in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Rockets, they've got ABC, Gordon out there with Griffin. Then it's Gary Harris, and it's Wood in at the five, roaming the paint. Here we go. And so the tip-off, it's Miami. Dragic, the pass to Butler. Back to Dragic. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Boy, he's a player who battles for everything he gets. Dragic with the chance to tack on one more. The Heat shooting their first foul shot of the night. Here's Wood, right wing. Here's Hampton. Hits the three-point bomb. When he's hitting that shot, this offense becomes scary, even more difficult to defend. Keeps the defense guessing. They don't know who to try to take away. Here's Hero. To the middle, here's Leonard. Nice D from Griffin. Wood kicks to Harris. Houston moving it around. Or the three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Draining the triple. Bottom minute played so far here in the first. Rockets looking it over. He can't hit that time. And the Rockets take it the other way. A big win for them coming off a strong game on Friday. Tremendous poise on the offensive end. Overall, they did not settle for bad shots. They were very patient, and that was the difference. It's hard to be patient, I know, but look at the outcome they had. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Gordon, for three, trains the three-pointer. So many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When, when you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. And here's Dragic after Eric Gordon hit the three. Here's Butler, 13 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Gordon with it. Now guarded by Dragic. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. He'd have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Pass to Hero. Inside. And Dragic gets it to go on the assist by Butler. Dragic has got his second bucket tonight. Jimmy Butler is on it. Staying alert. Finds his man breaking free. 
And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is up and in. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Rockets leading by four, and now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Eric Spolstra. I asked him how he felt about his team's chances of taking game two on the road. He told me our goal hasn't changed. We came in here to try and take one of these first two meetings. I still think we have the talent to achieve that, but this is the NBA Finals. Nothing comes easy. We will see if they can meet that goal tonight. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thanks. Here's ABC after the made shot from Goran Dragic on the pass to Gordon. The tray. That doesn't go either for Gordon. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Trailing by two. Hero, no good. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Great look by Blake Griffin. When your foreman has that ability to pass the basketball, it's a major advantage. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. with a whole new group on the floor. Let's take this chance now to show you the list of the postseason scoring leaders. Fifth, Eric Gordon. And he's taken off on a tremendous scoring streak at the perfect time. I mean, obviously, he's established himself as a premier playoff performer. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. Outside, Robinson. Here's none. Pocket six. Knocked away. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Pockets leading by five. For three, Gordon. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Very nearly stolen. There's no need to force that pass. A three ball. It's good from long range. Gordon's got 12 points in the game. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Here's none, and it's blocked, and they're able to recover. There's a minute 34 left in the first quarter. Passes it to Gordon. From deep. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. This shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. One twenty-one left to play in the first quarter. Outside Robinson. And there's a whistle. That goes on Daniel House. That is his first foul of the game. Pass to none. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. The pass to Tate. Now here's Gordon. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Oh, great ball movement there. 56 seconds left in the first quarter. Pass to none. Bradley deciding where to go with it. He's on target from eight feet out. Sweet stroke by Avery Bradley. And it's not by chance. At one point, his shot mechanics were rebuilt from scratch. They get the rebound, kicks it out to Gordon. Again, the miss by Gordon. 
The Heat trail by eight. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Passes it to Robinson. Well shot off that time. Great T that time from Green. Eric Gordon on the wing. Nail from three-point land. Gordon's got 21 in the game. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. If you love analytics, this is what this is all about. They favor the three ball. You can pile up points in a hurry. A big time effort for Eric Gordon, providing a lot of energy for Houston. It's been an excellent game for him offensively. He's got 21 points and counting right back after this break. Marquee matchup tonight. Jimmy Butler says he loves to go up against the best. I'm one that if you're the best in the world, I want to see it. And I wake up for these games. I want to know how do you do it, and you're going to have to do it every night when you go up against me. That's the hardworking mentality Butler provides, a two-way threat, Greg, who wants to dominate the top players at his position. And Butler has really embraced being a leader. You can tell he lives for these types of matchups and games. And it's time for more of the NBA Finals on 2K Sports. What a time of year. And for the Rockets here, they've been putting on a show, guys. I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. We've got Green. Gordon is out there with prime time. And it's Bates Diop in at the four. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. That's a two from Gordon. Doesn't go that time. And it's Miami the other way. Here's Igudala. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Igudala. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Harris has checked in for Eric Gordon. And Miami with a change here, too. Adebayo is checked in for ABC. As to House. On the wing, Harris. Houston moving the ball around. Shot clock at six. Drills it from outside. House has got his first three points of the game. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Robinson drives in. Now the pass to Autobahn. Goes back up. Count the basket. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. On the wing, Harris. Over Robinson. Harris, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Robinson passes to Iguodala. And the baseline jumper, no good. Here's none. On the wing, Iguodala. Another shot. And it's good on the way in. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Houston leading by 11. Harris outside. There's the three. Miami grabs the miss. Here's Nunn. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. Nunn's got six. Iggy just keeping his head up on his swivel all the time. For three, Harris. It's Autobio with the rebound. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. The Rockets have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far. Here's Bates Diop. Hits it from three-point range. Bates Diop's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Now a timeout called by Miami. These players can flat out shoot the rock. The 2K leaderboard shows us the top three-point shooters in the playoffs. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. Rockets the pass to Butler. And here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. 
Jimmy Butler is becoming a nightmare of a matchup. Off the pick and roll, now he's using the pass to free up other guys. Here is outside. He doesn't hit that one. Well, he'd go the other way with it. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the Heat. To the paint. Here's Kragic. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. That's a strong move right down there in the paint. Something you see a lot from Goran Dragic. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. Eight-point game. And good that time. Butler's got his second basket of the night. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. The shot by House is no good. On offense, here are the Heat. They're on a 14-6 run. Shot's good by Hero. Now just a four-point rocket lead. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And that one's good. House shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. 130 left in the first half of basketball. Here's Hero. Guarded by Harris. Pass to Hero. That's it. Coming off an assist from Trogic. Hero's got four points now in the quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. It's House outside. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got four rebounds now tonight. And it's Trogic off the drive. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Hampton passes to Wood. Fires the three. Buries it from three-point range. And it's six points for ABC. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. Knocked loose. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Both teams deciding to change it up. Thirty-five seconds left in the first half. The Heat trail by six. Right side, Butler. In the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. That's their third straight make off an assist. Outside, Gordon. Takes a three. It's good from long range. Gordon's got 27. Can't let Gordon get cooking from the field. Once he hits a few, he is in the zone. And out of Io throws it down. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Yeah, the defense has allowed him to get into a rhythm from there, and he's been relentless. And so it's Houston in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. From beyond the arc, they've been absolutely tremendous. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Goran. How would you say you guys have done in the first half? I mean, you know, we are battling. Uh, we as a team, and if we're gonna play like that, um, I think so. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be okay. We'll see what happens in the second half. Thanks, Goran. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And a heightened atmosphere we have here this evening for NBA playoff action. Hey, everybody, I'm Ernie Johnson. Got Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith by my side. Taking a look at the Rockets, they came in playing with a purpose. Even though it's early in this championship series, they can smell blood in the water, hoping to go up two games to none by the end of the night. 
What do you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Rockets? Well, the perimeter shooting is the reason they're ahead. I think we'll probably see more of that in the second half, especially if they can stay hot. Man, that's so hot, I gotta take my suit off. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Well, it's never easy to play on a road, and the score reflects that. Just doesn't seem like they're well prepared for this matchup. Every time they tried to make a run, they got derailed. I think to refocus their efforts in the second half, they're going to need to play with a lot more determination for a chance to win this. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's go to Kevin Harlan. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. We're seeing a tremendous game from Eric Gordon. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Rockets leading by eight. On the court for the Heat, Hero out there with Dragic. Then there's Myers Leonard. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Butler in at the three. To the inside. Hero rejected by Harris. And the whistle blew, so that'll be a shooting foul. Great defensive effort there with the blocked shot. But he got more than just the ball that time. Free throws coming up right now. For Miami, they have started out 0 of 1 from the line, missing their only other attempt earlier. good from Hero. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Passes to Wood. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Adebayo. That's a two from Gordon. Cans the shot from the wing. Gordon's got 32 points in the game. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Pretty good with the ball in his hands off the dribble. But now you're seeing the other facet of his game. The catch and shoot jump shot. The feed to Griffin. Leonard with the steal. Here's Trogic. The offensive rebound. It'll go. The Rocket lead is cut down to four on the bucket from Hero. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working. It connects again from distance. The threes coming fast and furious. He is scorching the net. Now GA tied for the third most three-point field goals in single-game playoff history. The Heat have gone 2 of 4 here to start the second half. Outside Dragic. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. Beautiful vision to find the open man. Gorn leading by example. There's Gordon with the three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Adebayo's got seven rebounds in the game. And that one's good by Butler. Here's ABC. Six points for him. There's Gordon with the three. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Hero. That misses had a chance to tie it there. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. There's Gordon with the three. Good! Another from three. He's putting on a shooting exhibition that has left this entire arena slack jaw. And Greg, he finds himself tied for second place all time and three point makes for a playoff game. And the Heat all time here. We've seen Eric Gordon really having a great game. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. Houston making some changes. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Griffin. 
And prime time subbed in for Gary Harris. So it's Miami now. They trail by six. Here's none. He's got six. Pass to ABC. And the layup's good off the glass. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Kicks to Gordon. Takes the three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And it's Miami the other way. Here's Iguodala in the corner. It's Robinson. The Heat get it back. And a new 14. ABC. Tough break there. Shot after shot. They couldn't get anything to fall. Outside Gordon. And again for three. Incandescent from long range. The defense throwing up their hands. How do you stop it? I don't know. And he's now tied the single game playoff record for three pointers made. The Heat making a switch here. Bradley's checked in. Here's none. He feeds it to Olenek. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Olenek's got his first two points. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. There's Gordon with the three. And it's Iguodala with the rebound. Robinson kicks to Bradley from outside the arc. They get it back. Iguodala, no good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And here's Gordon from out. Connects again from distance. What can you say? Wow, he's done it. The most three-point makes in NBA playoff history. Oh, an incredible achievement. One that will surely be celebrated around the world. And after catching their breath, this crowd now showering him with a well-deserved applause. Well, GA, he's put on a shooting clinic for sure. One of the best we've seen in playoff history. Man, oh man, he's putting on a show. This may be the best long-range shooting display I have ever seen. And the Rockets making a change here. Here's none. Second chance effort. And that's two points on the layup. Nunn's got eight points. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Yep, that one goes. And the Rockets lead by eight. And that's his go-to move right there in the low post. A minute 42 left in the third. Get open is Robinson. Great tee that time from Green. This one for three. And so it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And the Heat with some changes. Bam Adebayo is checked in for Kelly Olynyk, And it's Leonard in for Andre Iguodala. A minute 20 left here in the third quarter. Houston moving it around. Five to shoot. Gordon for three. Sinks the triple. Gordon's got 47 points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five mates are from beyond the arc. And uh, 101 left to play in the third. None. I love the intensity dial up here from a defensive standpoint in the second half. Doing a much better job. And they double up Gordon. He kicks to Green. The pass to Tate. To the wing on the left. Six on the shot clock. And here's Gordon from outside. Kept alive by Houston. Here's prime time. The long distance three is Barry. Prime Time's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Oh. 
There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. To stop the run, Leonard trying to break free. None, that's good. None's got four this quarter. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Gordon, again the Rockets score. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Bradley with the bounce pass. It's stolen by Green. There's Gordon with the three. And another one. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making the GA look all too easy right now. And so it's Houston out in front by 17 points at the end of the quarter. They've got their field goal percentage to thank for that. They've been hot from all over the floor tonight. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Yeah, it's one thing to find the guy. It's another to deliver the ball where he can do something with it. Wonderful play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Harris. He's out there with Gordon. And it's Griffin in its center. That's the five for Houston right now. Here's Otobio. That one good for two. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Here's Gordon. From deep three-point range, Miami grabs the miss. Leonard's got rebound number seven for him tonight. They've been the better rebounding team by a healthy margin, but it hasn't been enough. Hero passes to Leonard. Makes it off the glass. Leonard's got his first points of the game. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. For three, Gordon. Miami grabs the miss. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Shots good by Hero. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Upside, Griffin. For three. It's Autobio with the rebound. Autobio's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Nine feet out. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. Yeah, this offense is rolling. They've been assertive, but they're also playing under control. And it has them in a great spot to take the lead. They love to get a few stops now at the other end. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Timeout called the Rockets. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots. You have to want to make the effort. Wood, he's checked in for the Rockets. ABC comes in for Gordon. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys. Well, the Rockets coach had some words for his team during the timeout. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Leonard kicks to drive. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Rocket six. Inside. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Dragic. 
Boy, if you're the coach, you hate to see that kind of miscommunication between your guys. Houston leading by nine. Pass to House. Launches it. And another three for Houston. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. And it's Dragic with the ball for Miami. Shot, high post. Jump shot is good. The entire arena expected him to take it all the way. Going Dragic with the nice pull-up. Hampton passes to Harris. Here's Griffin. And it's sent back by Leonard. Griffin trying to get open. Wood with the bucket. Here's Hero. To the middle. Here's Adebayo. And Adebayo throws it down. They might be behind, but you can't blame him. He has been spectacular so far in this one. Hampton passes to House. Gets the three-pointer to fall. House has got nine points here in the second half. Throughout the evening, he's gotten to his spots, and the defense has not adjusted. The Heat trail by 13. Pass to Autobio. And the call will be against Harris. That'll be his second foul of the game. Outside Dragic. Down low. Shots good by Hero. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Houston leading by 11. Let's it go. Again, the Rockets score. And the Heat call time here. Jordan player of the game, Eric Gordon. And guys, no doubt who our pick was going to be. Uh, he's made everyone else on the court look like they're playing at half speed. It's been total domination, and you can't help but just sit back and admire that performance. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. The Heat trail by 13. Here's Hero. Pass to Autobio. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Woods got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Gordon. And Houston again with the bucket. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Outside Dragic. And there's the pass to Hero. Griffin against Butler. Six to shoot. And he makes that one. I love the aggressiveness by Butler when he's driving the basketball to the bucket. On the wing, Gordon releases. He got it again. Sensational. You see how easily he's getting buckets to be this hot must be a heck of a feeling. No doubt. And get this. He's now tied for the third most points in a playoff game ever. And you look at the players who've had this kind of playoff performance. All of them are Hall of Fame. Rockets the best to Leonard. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. The free throw drops for Leonard. Perfect from the line this time. We've got 123 left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Gordon fires the three. And good! He hits it again. 
I mean, when have you seen a player get this hot in a playoff game? I don't know, Gia. I know this, though. He now ranks third all-time for single-game scoring in the postseason. Simply stunning. And he now ranks among the Wilt Chamberlains, the Michael Jordans, some names you might have heard of. That shows you what he's doing. Now Drogic. And that will effectively take care of game two here in the NBA Finals. We'll be switching venues for the next one. But right now, an important win for the Rockets. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. Uh, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those. But, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Eric. Good. He hits again. And he's now claimed the second most points ever in a playoff game. Boy, he is really taking advantage of the defense. Nobody's been able to contain him. And with just one more bucket, he can surpass the mark set by Michael Jordan. Outside Butler. From deep. No good from Trogic. Left side, Gordon. But three. Again, what an avalanche! And he set a new all-time record for single-game scoring in the playoffs. I mean, what a night to remember. And for those of us who are lucky enough to witness it, I'm sure we will never forget this. And Michael Jordan, the GOAT, holding that top spot for decades to now witness someone break his record. I mean, this is crazy. And this crowd taking the opportunity to cheer one of the great individual playoff performances in league history. You know, an offensive outburst, Greg, that will live on in the minds of everyone here who saw it. I don't know if I've ever seen this. Somebody scoring the basketball with this much ease. Nobody can slow him down. Silva, a good finish at the rack off the slick feet. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Well, this one is winding down now. Houston can watch the clock run out. Pass to Brown. Jacks up a three. Another one goes. Incredible. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. That concludes game two of the NBA Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.